Boom! What? <laughs> <laughs>right boys and girls this is Tyler back again with another video and today we are going to be going through a PSA order that just popped I just got the grades back they are ready and we are going to take a look at them so this is all the different orders that I have right now outstanding at PSA and we have a 239 card value modern order that just popped I'm going to open it up, not look, because I want this to be a grade reveal. I've only done one of these videos before, and these things are super exciting for me because this feels exactly like Christmas in July. Like I love going through here and seeing what cards graded what. I will say, this is an order I'm not expecting a lot of gems, guys. This is an order that I submitted in November. I wonder if this is $12 a card. So, with that, I submitted a lot of cards that are going to be 8s and 9s. And a lot of these are older cards, so it's not ultra modern where I'm expecting, you know, a 50, 60, 70% gem rate. So, having said that, there are some cards in here that I think could do, there could be some hidden monsters. So let's just put it that way. Just to give you guys a preview of what is in here, I'll try to bloom, uh, zoom this in uh, for you guys. These are all the different cards that I have. <clears throat> I've gone through this in a different video whenever I went through everything I have outstanding, but we're going through this a little bit more detail. Some LeBron James cards, Mike Trout, um, Giannis Antetokounmpo's. One thing I will say, PSA called me yesterday and they said that this card was damaged. It is, it is the first card that I had damaged in the process of um, getting graded. Uh, they said that it graded a PSA 9, but they pinched it whenever they were putting it together and it graded a PSA 5. So... We discussed compensation, and I'm probably going to do a separate video on this because the customer service person was phenomenal that I worked with. I would love to give her a shout out as she handled this phenomenally, hooked me up with a variety of different things, so I'll go through that in a different video. Got a bunch of Kobe Bryant cards, uh, Giannis rookies, um, some more Mike Trout, a bunch of Kawhi Leonard rookies, which unfortunately aren't doing that great. Some Damian Lillard rookies, which uh, probably might be doing, they might do well once we get into the regular season um, going into next year. Uh, some more Kobe's, uh, Kawhi Leonard's, more Kobe's. They're, these two Kobe's right here, really, really nice. I'm hoping that one of those at least pulls a gem. So what I have here, these are not the finalized grades, just in case you have questions. These are sort of my grade predictions of what I think these cards are going to grade. So I would like to do a comparison to see what those cards ended up grading. Um, again, more Kobe's second year finest cards, more Kobe's, some Bowman's best trouts, uh, some very, very nice... Kevin Durant parallels and rookies. Uh, let's see what else we got. More Anthony Davis rookies, including these rare Taco Bell cards. Russell West, uh, Wilson rookies. Jamal Murray, those haven't done too, too hot. Some Steph Curry rookies hidden in there. Clay Thompson rookies. Devin Booker. More. And this is uh, a collection that I bought for $4,000. So if you start right here and scroll down all these Steph Curry rookies... All these Giannis Antetokounmpo rookies, all these tops Kevin Durant rookies. Oh, I'm going to be excited to see what these things grade because the condition on these was not that great. So I'm expecting these tops Kevin Durant rookies to be a bunch of sixes and sevens with maybe one or two eights. So overall on this, we're looking at about $12,357 that I spent, $2,868 that I gave to PSA, and we're expecting around $29,757 in value. So this is going to be a big order, almost 100% ROI. Very good order. So we're going to jump into this, and I want to see what my grades are. So if we switch over, boom. All right, this is good. Good start. So we're starting off with a gem, and then a 9, and then a 9. Let's just double check and see. So I predicted a 10, an 8, and a 9. So we're already ahead. So my Russell Wilson got a 9. That's good. I'm not going to keep switching back and forth, I promise, but uh, I will just slow roll. All right, so Kobe Finest 137, that is the silver version, so that came back a 10. UD3 came back an 8, uh, it's all right. Heritage Action, ah, I was hoping that card was going to pull a 10. What actually did I think that was going to be? I thought the UD3 was going to be a 10, I thought that the Heritage was going to be a 10. And I thought the Scherzer was going to be a 10, but it, as I said, that Scherzer came back a 5. 
All right, next up, uh, Anthony Davis. All right, 10, Crusade rookie. I'll take it. Brilliance came back a 10. Take it. Mike Trout, USA. Oh, that's a big card. Actually, I want to do some market research while we are here just to see Mike Trout 2012 USA Prism PSA 10. I want to do a little bit of uh, research just to see what some of these cards are going for because I haven't updated the prices in a while. Very nice. Awesome. 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 I'll take that. Uh, I'm not going to do that, obviously, for every card either, but I'm very excited whenever I see a card like that that pops up. Second one came back a nine. Uh, I'll, it's okay. I got one of those that end up being Jim Matt. Ah, oh, this Topps Mini came back a nine. That kind of stinks. Oh, my MJ came back an eight. No good. All right, 98 Finest, Kobe, Jim Mint. Two of those got Jim Mint. That's awesome. Awesome. Giannis Rookie came back a PSA 10. Boom! NBA champ. Champion. I like it. And this is one of the rare versions. This is not just the basic SP Authentic that is him dribbling. This is the FX version. So there's three versions. This is the FX version. So happy that that one came back, Jim Mint. And the second one came back, Jim Mint. All right, these are very easy grades. So I have a bunch of these uh, at the bottom, the regular versions. They're not in the best condition. So uh, I'm not expecting to go uh, very good with that. All right, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's a nine. Brilliance is another nine. Ooh, hoops, eight, eight. Prestige, nine. Oh, uh, yeah, so not doing so good with those. All right, the embossed Kobe Silver came back a nine. I'll, I'll take it. I would have... Liked to see a couple of gems out of that stretch, but all right, now we're getting on the gem stretch. Kobe Finest 10, 10, 9 for the 2003. So these 2003 Kobe Bryant's, all right, perfect. That one came back at 10. These uh, Finest Kobe Bryant's do very, very well. So if you go 2003 Finest Kobe PSA 10. So just look at these. I mean... 200 300 i mean before i think these things were going as high as maybe 400 if we go way 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 back maybe not maybe not let's see let's well, not pull enough any of them up so i think that's as far back as it went yeah it's as far back as it went so yeah uh they were going 300 in may and now depending on when they sell they might actually i mean above 200 that's awesome for a base card for a base card sweet 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 all right let's go back to where we were uh, let's see. Awesome. So 2004 finest. That's uh, LeBron's second year. Uh, so those are a little bit easy to gym. All right. The finest Vince and Kobe came back a nine. Ooh, UD3 came back a five. And the upper deck KD came back a seven. I remember those not being in good shape. I remember there being, at least the Kevin Durant, I remember that having issues with it. Uh, mini trout. Ugh, that's a six. I wonder if there's like damage in this stretch. Like, did that area just get like a a, a jag? Like, so, did something hit it or or what? Like, because all those ended up coming back damaged. All right, so the trout mini came back a nine. Sweet. So finest Michael Jordan came back a ten. I like that. Boom! All right, guys. First big card of. The order. This is a second year LeBron James insert card. It's not a huge insert, but it is rare. All right, I was looking up this card a couple of days ago. So, very, very nice. All right, 2004 premium performers. LeBron James PSA. So you can see the 8 didn't sell well, but this is a PSA 10 pop 6. Uh, let's see if 130 point actually works i'm curious what this bad boy sold for so and this one sold in scottsdale which is where i'm at interesting all right snatsdale so let's no i don't want to paste that i want to paste this so you can see i was searching for weather it's a monsoon taking place right now all right i've heard 130 point has had issues working yeah, 130 points not working. I've, I've had issues. So, all right. Well, we can double check that a different day. Very cool. Very excited about that card. I'm super, super stoked. What did I have that card pegged as? So, premium performers. I had that being a nine. So, and the value being 40 bucks. All right. So, we're already, we're already ahead of where we were. And those Kobe's, I had the Kobe's predicted as an eight and a nine. So, I got a 10 on those. 
Yeah, so right now I'm tracking pretty well with where I thought. Actually, I'm I'm probably doing maybe a little bit better. The only ones, all right, if we go through this, that's where I predicted. I got a higher grade than what I thought, where I predicted, uh, where I predicted. That ended up getting an eight. That got a nine. That got a five because it was damaged, but I still was off because they originally graded a nine. That was a 10. That was a 10. That was a 10. That's a nine. So uh that eight i think that was i ended up getting a nine that was an eight ten 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 eight eight or nine nine eight eight nine uh can't nine that was right at it ten ten nine eight or ten nine or something like that 10 dude i'm i'm killing it right now i'm doing very well the only ones that didn't hit so that kevin durant ended up coming back a seven that came back a six and that came back a six or something and that came back a nine and the finest came back a ten. so actually right now i'm doing way better than what i thought obviously i don't have grades for every single one of these but this is this is great so in terms of me grading my cards this is awesome like i'm doing pretty good so far I'm not going to do that again for all these, but just just showing you where I'm at. I'm very excited. I got a gem on my LeBron. All right, Mike Trout Mini. Boom! Got back a 10. I like it. So the straight cut version, Mint 9, okay? And this Gypsy Queen came back a 9. So I didn't have grades on these, and again, I didn't have grades on every single card. Uh, Russell Wilson, rookie, came back a 10. Beautiful. Boom! What a big card. All right, I was predicting that this card was going to grade a 10, and it got a 10. Got to show you guys this card. I don't know if the, the sale sh still shows. Damian Lillard Select White PSA. So, yeah, you all can see May 8th, this card ended up selling in a PSA 10 grade for that high. And again, I submitted these cards last year, so the values obviously went way up over the winter especially january february march then they're starting to go back down a little bit um obviously this is a sale in may so it's not going to be as high but very 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 excited that that card ended up getting a 10 that is sweet super super sweet all right where are we at all right past and present so this is the variation this is not a regular card right this is there's not many of these that are graded but this is the variation damian lillard it came back a nine which is what i thought Boom, all right, one of these got a 10. Beautiful, I'm curious about this. I am gonna go to the pop report and we are going to see how many of these are actually graded because I don't think there's that many. Past and present, Damian Lillard. I think that's how they have it spelled on the label. Yep, so there, you can see there's 25 and 249. 25 is like the variation version. So if we go Damian wow guys wow only seven graded and three tens beautiful so you can see the regular rookie has 287 graded this is a pop three rookie get some so as you all know if you follow this channel i like cards that are extremely rare not these high pop cards but a pop three damian lillard rookie oh I'll, I'll take it all right so now we're going to some Kawhi's hoops came back and I'm getting skunked on the Kawhi, on the Kawhi Leonard's, but again, this is what I predicted. I was predicting that I was not going to do good. So nine on the hoops, nine on the hoops, nine on the hoops, seven on the glossy. All right. What did I predict on some of these guys? So nine, 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 eight. That's what I was expecting. And I'm expecting to get, keep getting nine basically. So, all right, nine, 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 seven. So it's a, it's a little lower than I thought, but I knew it wasn't going to do that great. <clears throat> nine. So this is a gold knight. So what did I think the gold knights were? Uh, that these gold knights were rough. So I thought nine. That one came back an eight. Boom! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh my gosh good some wow all right i gotta look up the pop on this wow P okay this is great panini 216 all right this is the regular panini 216 Kawhi leonard <laughs> <laughs> pop seven 
Pop 7. All right, Panini Gold Knight. I'm just going to look and see what some of these have gone for. Like, not... Let's see what the highest ones. Whoa! That sold July 18th. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> and, guys, this is why I love grading. This is why this is Christmas in July for me. This is so much fun. That is the second big card in the order. Actually, third, probably the third big card in the order. All right, let's see what else we got coming up through here. We got anything else coming up? Yeah, so we have these Kobe's that are coming up. They're actually going to be pretty good. So I'm expecting the, the grades to actually get a little bit better here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, brilliant. I did not do good with these brilliants, Kawhi's. There's a lot of those that are picked over. Boom. All right, I already got one gem. That's sweet. Two gems. All right, back on track. Three gems. Hang on. Did I expect these to get better? I did expect those to get better. All right. So... Dude, this is awesome. Like, I'm grading these cards uh, right at where PSA was going to have them graded. Boom. Past and present 10. Past and present 10. All right. Prestige. All right. Came back a 9. What do I think the Prestige was going to get? A 9. So, literally, I went... I did better than what I thought on those. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So, that was the Prestige. That means the Kobe's are coming up next. I'm expecting two 10s. Oh. Boom. <laughs> all right that's good that's good all right we're gonna go 2013 panini kobe i think those are numbered to 49 psa all right certified all right they're not gonna have those let's see let's see here yeah they're not gonna they're not gonna have these wow all right, so that was select. I'm just going to type select skills and see if there's any other parallels. Select skills. All right, so a purple 9.5 sold in May for 4.81. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow. This is great. This is fabulous. All right, so I got a nine. The select stars ended up coming back a nine. All right, so I split the difference, but I, I'm okay. So far, I'm pretty happy with this order. All right, so now we're going back to cards that I don't think are going to grade that well. So on the UD3s, I, I predicted 8, 9, 10. Let's see what happens. 8. Oh, 4. Something bad happened. I missed something. All right, that's the first. That's that's one of the first ones that's way off. And then a 9. All right, so yeah, UD3s didn't do so hot on those. I was expecting to get a 10, hopefully, but I didn't get I didn't get one. All right, finest, 262. This is the second year base card. So that one came back at 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 or 9, 10, 10. So this is non-protected. So out of all these, I got two 9s. How many did I think? I thought that I would get one 9 and the rest 10s. Uh, didn't end up being that way. So this is a 98. I had that typed in wrong. There we go. Um, so the unprotected ended up getting a nine. I thought I would get a 10, uh, at a couple of those. Yeah. So two, both of those got nines and then the finest, uh, 99 got a nine and then that got an eight. Oh yeah. So those 99s are a lot harder to grade than what I thought. And they, those are, those are a little bit thicker card stock. Yeah. Those didn't do nearly as good. So I got one 10 out of those, out of that batch. So I predicted straight tens, which is not accurate. All right, so these next cards are going to be very, very, very key. Uh, team, uh, finest team blue Kobe's double double Kobe insert, um, and then we're getting to some pristines. Yeah, we're getting into a stretch of some really big cards. If they end up grading PSA ten, we're looking at some high value. So let's see what we got. All right, team blue came back a nine. And a 10. All right, sweet. We got one 10. So I don't know what was going on. So this is the first part where I went off. That 99 finest, I was a little bit off on grading that. I'm going to have to pay attention um, next time. So 99 finest is something that I struggle with. Going to have to look. Uh, nice. So the double-double came back a 10. All right. That's huge. I think that's huge. So 99 finest, team finest, Kobe, PSA. 
So there's a red version that's numbered to 500. So that sold for 565. Here is my version, this blue that sold for, it says 299, it's best offer. So I don't know. Um, let's see, not PSA. Let's see what we got here. Uh, those are refractors. So here was an, that's an SGC refractor. Yeah, so here's, well, I don't even know what brand this is. That's some off brand, came back a 10, sold for somewhere around 300. Hard to tell what the, the price is on this. Here we go, May 27th, BGS 9.5 of that sold for 224. PSA is probably 50% higher than that. So we're looking at about $300 card, which is higher than what the value was whenever I submitted it. All right, double, double. Let's go finest, double, double, Kobe, PSA. So I got to do minus Shaquille because it keeps bringing up all those shacks. So this is my card, not that card, not the double feature. This is double, double. So if we do sold and there's not many out there. Wow. All right. I'm curious about pop report. 1999 finest double, double Kobe Bryant. Double, double. Is this it? Yeah, wow, that is a very low pop Kobe. Dang, pop nine, PSA 10. I will take it. What if I do team finest? I wonder what that Kobe is from a team finest perspective. Team finest blue. So they've they've broken this up for the ones that have coding and non-coding. So blue, wow, that's very low very low so they have blue with coating and then blue so there's around 16 total psa 10s for that card pretty rare pretty rare that's awesome all right keep going so 2000 finest wow i got my first 8.5 all right so that's 8.5 oh these are the masters so these are these are 1999 or sorry 2165 finest kobe so these are these cards, and these are really, really awesome cards. It's it's a if you can think of the select parallel. So like select has courtside, premiere, and then um, uh, concourse. So this is like the courtside version of finest for this year. Uh, it's these gems. Uh, there, there's not as many of these out there as uh, some of the other cards. So how many of these did I submit? Uh, ended up submitting. Two. All right. So one, I thought was I thought both of these were going to get a nine. So one got an eight five, and the other one got a nine. So that's close. Uh, pristine Kobe got a nine. Uh, both of those got a nine. And the select hot got a nine. Darn. All right. So yeah, I, was, I expected that to get a nine. I expected to split the difference on that and then get a, a nine. So that's actually not a deviation from the expectations. All right, this is a big card right here, guys. Bowman Chrome Kevin Durant X Fractor second year. This is huge. The value of this went way up afterwards. 2008 Bowman Chrome Kevin Durant minus 2007. Let's do PSA. Let's see what these parallels have been going for. So you can see PSA 9 just sold a couple weeks ago for almost 400. So I was expecting a 10. Come on, computer, work. Let me do highest here and do sold all right so a psa 10 refractor sold in june for 1600 so it's a huge difference we're talking about a card that's either 400 dollars, and this is just the refractor to maybe a card being over 2000 so this is a huge huge pop right here son of a bitch and it came back nine all right daggone it that all right yolo and what's this one so the retro rookies came back in nine two, which is what I predicted. Daggone it! I was really hoping that that was going to come back at ten. Kevin Durant, nineteen eighty six Fleer PSA nine. So these guys were very 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 high, but now they've come back down. See, they've almost fallen half in value, but that's okay. So these values are going to be off from what I predicted. So that's a five hundred dollar value. That's actually like probably going to be 350 after fees this is going to be 300 so we're starting to see a little bit of a rebalance here of the valuations which is okay there's nothing wrong with that um all right so let's keep going sweet so the skills came back at 10 it's higher than what i thought 
All right, so now we're getting some trouts. First one got a nine, second one got a 10. Ooh, third one got an eight, and the fourth one got a 10. And all right, ooh. All right, this next card is going to be good, but let's see. How did I do on the Trouts? So the Trouts I thought would go 9, 9, 10, 10. I went 9, 8, 10. Or what did I do here? 9, 10, 8, 10. So that's good. So these Mike Trouts have also gone up in value. Best PSA 10, 2011. So we're looking at a card. And Trout's not hot right now. So if we went back further, like... That's 810, closer, 900 in the spring. So, Trout's not hot. Um, whenever he comes back, that card may move a little bit. This is a big card right here, guys. 2012 Panini Starburst LeBron James. Uh, there's not going to be any PSA 10s of this card on eBay, I do not think. Because this is a very, very, very rare LeBron. 2012 Panini Brilliance, LeBron James. <clears throat> Search. So let's look up our LeBron James. So I don't know if the pop report is updated or not. But that could be a pop one LeBron parallel. That's great. I'm very excited about that. Wow, Kobe doesn't have any. Wow, this is unbelievable, guys. This could be a pop one LeBron. All right, that's great. That's great news. So I predicted that that was going to be a 10. That's way higher than 150 bucks. Way, way higher. Way higher. Way higher. All right, very happy about that. Super, super happy. Guys, this is why... So modern orders to me, or bulk orders to me, are way better than all these high-end orders. They're like... These cards are cheap, like they're very, very cheap, but the value of the card, if it grades well, could be astronomical. And I would actually rather PSA upcharge me for these cards because I, I want to submit them at, at the fee of $12 because that's really all they're worth to get graded. But if they are these rare cards, upcharge me because I don't know what they're going to grade. If they come back a nine, it's not worth me paying $50 to get it graded. If it does come back a 10, upcharge me. That's, that's sort of my philosophy on this. Um, all right, next card. Boom. Finest. PSA 10. That's the second, second year finest PSA 10 in the order from LeBron. And the next one came back at 10. Beautiful. All right. So let's look at this. 2004 finest LeBron James PSA 10. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're looking between three, around $300 to $400, depending on when the auction goes off. So beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. I had predicted that these cards were going to be right at what was that 250 and 125 i guess my valuations have changed a little bit all right this is gonna be a rare card select skills i have this lebron coming back a nine and it came back a 10 beautiful all right what is this select skills lebron to 2013 select skills lebron james so this is that card and it came back a 10 which I don't see one that is a 10. I see some nines, but that's awesome. Beautiful. All right, let's 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 pick it up here. Let's go a little bit faster. All right, Anthony Davis Brilliance is a nine. So we're getting to a bunch of Anthony Davises again. So, all right, two tens. Intriguing is a nine. Intriguing is a nine. Nine. Ooh, didn't do good on intriguing. Intriguing player, Anthony Davis. So I got some intriguing grades here. All right, totally certified blue. That's a very difficult parallel to grade. I'm actually very happy that one came back a nine. Red came back a nine as well. Momentum, wow. All right, I got to look that up. That is a thick, thick, thick card. So getting that to grade, Jim Mint, Panini, Momentum, Anthony Davis. Let's see what that ended up grading. Drive and Force. I don't know what it is. What is it? It's just 177. Oh, uh, yeah, so maybe the pop reports haven't updated yet. So maybe that Starburst LeBron is a pop two, and this is just the base card. So this is going to be a, either a pop one or it's going to be like a pop two Anthony Davis. That's sick. That's awesome. All right, past and present draft 
Redemptions one. Anthony, oh, that, that okay. That's the XRC rookie came back a nine. Hot rookies came back a ten. Nice. Twenty twelve select Anthony Davis hot PSA. So what does this go for? So that's the white. This is the red. The red nine. All right, so in June, that was a $400 card. Sweet. Beautiful. All right, Lava Flow. Oh, that came back in eight. That's not that great. All right, Taco Bell 9, Taco Bell 9, Taco Bell 9. Oh, son of a bitch. I would have thought that the Taco Bell card would have done way better than that. 2012 Anthony Davis Taco Bell PSA. That sucks. There's not many PSAs out there. There's not many of these cards out there. Oh, that stinks. I was hoping that I was going to get at least one 10 out of those. All right, Hoops came back a 10. That's very good. Those are hard to grade. Magic Numbers, 9, 9. Brilliance, all right, 10, 9. Oh, all right, so we're out of Anthony Davis's. The Magic Russell Wilson came back a 10. Wow, Gold Zone score came back a 10. Both of them came back a 10. Sweet. All right, all right, all right. 2012 score, Russell Wilson, PSA 10. Let's do gold, because I think it is the parallel. Is that how they described it? Yeah, it's gold zone. So this is the parallel version. That It doesn't look like any of these have sold that are gold zone. So nice, sweet. All right, SP Authentic time. 9, 9, 10, 9, 10. 10, 10, 10. Beautiful. All right, that's good. All right, this is another Giannis rookie. Came back at 10. Panini, step Prestige, Curry, 8. Upper Deck. Ah, oh, that Upper Deck came back at 9. Dang, that was one of the better ones, too. Uh, Optic, Jamal Murray's. Those get 10s. <clears throat> wow, the Blue Prism from Select got a 10. Awesome. That's a huge card. The Autograph came back at 9. All right, it's okay. All right, good one, champions. Michael Jordan Lightning. That card was damaged, so I'm very happy that came back in eight. All right, so where are we at now? I gotta go through these really quick, so I've gotta go. Uh, so we are at, and I didn't have those uh, great assessments. So now we're getting to Clay Thompson's, Devin Booker, and then we get into the big order of cards. So let's see here. All right, Clay Thompson. Wow, did pretty solid on the first three. Okay, so that's it's a little odd. Uh, the aspirations came back in 8.5. Eh. <gasps> Boom! Give me some Devin Booker, PSA 10. All right. Panini Prism, PSA 10. Booker, what do you sell for nowadays? That's a little bit low, man, for the next Kobe. I think that should be a $6,000 card for the next Kobe. Just, just saying. Um, beautiful. I love it. All right. First, all right, so now we're getting to that big order of cards. So I'm not expect if I see some gem mint cards in here for the rest of the way, I'm going to be ecstatic. I'm not expecting a lot of gems at all. So nine, eight, five. All right, let's just scroll. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of tens. All right, so this draft edition, one of those did get a 10. Dang, yeah, these are not going to be good, guys. Nine, eight, nine. So I got another draft edition curry that came back a 10. So I got two tens. Eights, nines. All right, so I got one of those combos that came back at 10. I'll take that. Tournament Titans, 10. All right, I'll take that. Pinnacle Giannis came back a four. <laughs> yeah, dude, a lot of these were not in good condition. They were not in good condition. The person that sold these to me apparently cherry-picked them. I bought these sight unseen, but the values had gone up quite a bit, so it's like, whatever. All right. Flea Retro came back in nine. And another one came back in eight. All right, so now we got SP Authentics. Yeah, these are going to be between nines. If I get any tens in this, again, one, two, three. Wow, I got three tens. Get some. I'll take it. All right, now here's our Kevin Durant. Sixes and sevens. I said that. Maybe a couple eights. Six, seven. Oh, got one eight. Got one eight. What is, a, what is a Kevin Durant eight going for right now? All right, 2007, Tops, Kevin, Durant, PS. Let's see what a seven goes for first. Uh, yeah, so the sevens are not doing... Dang, these have crashed so hard compared to where they were. That kind of stinks. But it's okay. It's all right. So the eights, still knocking on close to 100 bucks. Close to 100 bucks. 
So you can see the valuations of those have, have not done that well. They, they've, they've crashed. All right, so eight, six, eight. All right, I got two eights. Got an eight, five. Whoa, get me some. I'll take the eight, five. What's that go for? Eight, five, eight, five. All right, all right. It's over a hundred bucks. That's good. Uh, seven, seven, six, seven, six, seven, and some eights. Sweet. Okay, I've got some eights. Seven, eight. Dude, that's actually, I got way more eights than what I thought. I really did. Oh, I'll take that. And another eight, five. Beautiful. I'm curious what these very, and another eight, and another eight. All right. Oh, these are the variations. So, yeah, I'm curious what these are going to be great. So, eight, six, six, five, nine. <gasps> Oh, wow. Yeah, these did not do good. Again, I'm glad I sold or submitted these at $12 a card. I would not submit these at, you know, $25 or $30 a card because, again, they're not worth that. Uh, seven, eight, eight, eight. All right, so these are the last couple. So we got a rookie uh, variation. So that one came back a nine. <laughs> that one came back a six. And that one came back an eight. I don't know how to panini Kawhi at the very end of that. So that is the order. Whoa. So I got one, two, three. I got three Giannis PSA 10s out of that batch. I got a Steph Curry Tournament Titans that came back a 10. And then I got a two draft editions that came back 10. So let's see what these upper decks. So I got out of all those, one, two, three, four. I got four upper deck rookies that came back a nine. So let's see what those go for. 2009, Stephen Curry upper and these were completely cherry picked cards or they they may have not even been cherry picked they may have just been sitting in a box which is i think what happened this guy bought a collection and he ended up selling me all the cards so uh you know having said that these are you know around the 300 hundred dollar range so what did i have with these cards pegged at yeah so i had on average i would get 262 out of those I, on average i'd get 115 out of those I, on average i would get 130 77 out of those so Giannis cards are definitely helping me even these Fleer retros like a Fleer retro Giannis, Giannis Fleer retro psa 9 you know now that's in the 150 range if we look at Giannis sp authentic psa 9 we're seeing those actually doing very well. So again, at auction, looking at auction prices, we're in the bottom that we're seeing is 120. So we'll we'll take that. So we're gonna do okay with the Giannis's because the tens we got three tens and those tens are in the three three hundred range to three fifty depending on the auction. All right. So yeah, not gonna do too bad on the Giannis's. Overall, the bottom half of this order is going to sell probably about what I expected. The KDs may be a little bit of a wild card, but guys, overall, I'm super excited about this. Um, I know I just did a video about population control. So far, I think these grades were incredibly fair. Um, I like getting these big graders that grade cards in bulk. I don't like... I would say the, the orders that I've done the worst on are the um, orders that are smaller orders and higher cost. I think those may go to more senior graders who are more critical of these cards. But overall, I'm super ecstatic with these grades, guys. I think that this figure that we have down here of 29,757 is going up. Which, if you had asked me this, you know, 2 3 months ago when the market was declining, I mean, all these Kevin Durant's, I mean, these PSA 7s were like 100 100 20 150 dollars the psa 8s were knocking on 200 just a couple months ago then the market just absolutely crashed so overall i'm very 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 happy with this um guys let me know what you think uh, i know i was all over the place in this video but just want to show you all my natural reaction to uh these cards and you know let me know what you think about it down below this is a lot of fun